hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install kali linux version 2023.1 on your virtualbox on your mac os computer for those that don't know virtualbox virtualbox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer so you can see i am currently running windows xp and arc linux on my virtualbox now in this video we're going to install kali linux version 2023.1 on this same virtualbox now the first thing we have to do is download and install virtualbox and to do that head to your chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. Now you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Click on it. And then by the left, click on Downloads. Now you can see VirtualBox for Windows OS, Mac OS, Linux and many other operating systems over there. So we are downloading VirtualBox for Mac OS, so click on Mac OS and it should start downloading. Now I already have this downloaded, so I'm just going to cancel. After downloading, you can install VirtualBox like every other software. If you find it difficult to install, then check the description of this video. I made a video earlier on how to install VirtualBox on Mac OS. Now the next thing we have to download is Kali Linux image file. So let's open a new tab. And then head to kali.org or you can just search for Kali Linux on Google. Now you can see the first page over there, Kali Linux pen testing and ethical working Linux, which is to kali.org. So click on it. And it will take you to this page. Now click on the download button on the screen and it will take you down here. Now you can see the installer image and virtual machines. So click on installer images since we want to download the installer image. And you can see down here, this is Kali Linux 2023.1 installer image. You can see the installer 64 bits. Click on the installer and it should start downloading. This file is about 3.6 gigabytes, so you know what to expect. It is now downloading. I already have Kali Linux image file downloaded, so I'm just gonna cancel it. Now, after downloading Kali Linux image file and installing VirtualBox, we can then close our browser and then begin the installation. Now, open your download folder and you can see Kali Linux installer AMD64, which we downloaded just now. Now, let's minimize this and then open VirtualBox. Now, we have to create a new virtual machine, so click on new. Now, let's call this machine Kali Linux. 2023.1 now set the type to linux and then set the version to linux 2.6 slash 3x slash 4x 64 bits and then click on continue now this is the base memory which is the ram so i'm going to give this 1.5 gigabytes of ram so you can see i have 4 gigabytes of ram on my pc and I wouldn't recommend you to give over 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. So 1.5 GB is ok. Continue. And then create a virtual hard disk now. Continue. VDI. Continue. Dynamically allocated. Continue. Now set the amount of storage you want to give to your virtual machine. Now anything above 50 GB is ok. but I'm going to give this about 100 gigabytes of storage and that should be okay to run Kali Linux without any issue. Create. Now we've created a new virtual machine called Kali Linux 2023.1. Now we have to make changes to some things over here so click on settings. So whenever you want to make changes to the motherboard of this machine click on system and then you can see the base memory which is the RAM which we can switch and the processor as well. So I'm going to give these two CPU cores since I can run up to four. Now I wouldn't recommend you giving over 50% to your virtual machine. This will slow down your host computer so two is okay. Now go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Also enable 3D acceleration. Now go to storage and then click on the empty disk icon under controller IDE. And then by your right click on this disk icon again and then click on choose a disk file. Now locate your download folder and then select the installer file we downloaded. You can see Kali Linux installer. Click on open. 
ok now we can start our virtual machine and begin the installation so click on start now hit enter to select graphical install now select a language for the installation and then click on continue set your region your country and then click on continue also set your keyboard format and then hit on continue now you can use anything as your host name so i'm just going to leave kali here now this will identify your system to the network so you can put your name right here so i'm just going to put everything tech continue domain name leave the field empty continue unless you have a domain name you want to put there full name for this user enter your full name there username for this user enter your username there and then choose the password confirm the password and then continue now choose your clock format and continue as well now we are going with guided which we use the entire disk we are located and then partition it itself so let's continue and this is the disk 97 gigabytes so that is actually the disk we created when we were beginning the installation so let's continue all files in one partition which is recommended yes so continue now click on continue to finish partitioning and write changes to the disk write changes to the disk select yes and then continue now it will take some time to install you just don't have to do anything just wait for it to install now this is where we select the desktop environment we want you can use GNOME, KDE or XFace. Now I'm going to use XFace since this is the default desktop environment and this looks actually good. Unless you want to choose any other desktop environment but we are good with XFace over here. So let's just hit continue. Now select yes to install Grub Bootloader and continue. Select the drive over here and continue. Now the installation has been completed, so click on continue to reboot into Kali Linux. Now log in with your username and password. So basically this is how to install Kali Linux version 2023.1 on VirtualBox on your Mac OS computer. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.